Hello and welcome to the Godly Play Worship Space at St. Paul's Episcopal Church. Some of you will recognize this space. We have Godly Play stories here every Sunday. And today, I will be teaching you the mystery of Easter. And Mrs. Harris will be singing some songs. Hi, everybody. I'm here to sing some songs with you today for our Good Friday. Linda said that she was going to tell you some stories, and I'm going to sing some songs. So the first one is Jesus Loves Me. I think you know it. I'm going to sing it two times so that you can sing along. In the beginning, the baby was born. God chose Mary to be the mother of God. When the baby looked up into the face of the mother Mary, he already saw the cross. When he looked into the face of the father Joseph, the cross was there too. The mother Mary and the father Joseph held the baby close. They kept the baby warm. They gave the baby everything the baby needed to grow, and he began to grow. The baby grew and became a boy. When he was about 12 years old, he went with Mary and Joseph and many other people to the great city of Jerusalem to keep one of the high holy days. When the celebration was over, the people began to leave. Suddenly, Mary and Joseph discovered that Jesus was not there. They searched and searched. Finally, they looked in the temple, and there he was. Didn't you know I would be in my father's house? Mary and Joseph did not understand. Their house was in Nazareth, where Joseph's carpenter shop was. They did not understand, but they did not forget. Jesus grew and became a man. When he was about 30 years, he went to the River Jordan where his cousin John was baptizing. Do you see John? You can just see the back of his head. He was a wild man. Jesus waded into the river until he was face to face with John. He said, baptize me. John looked at Jesus as if for the first time. Now he saw who he really was. How can I baptize you? You are the Messiah, the one we have been waiting for. You must baptize me. No, it is written that you will come before me and prepare the way. Baptize me. Jesus went down into the darkness and chaos of the water. When John lifted him back up into the light, there were people there who said they saw a dove come down from heaven and come close to him. There were also people there who heard a voice. The voice said, This is my beloved son, with whom I am well pleased. After Jesus was baptized, he went on across the river Jordan into the desert. 
He stayed there for 40 days and 40 nights to learn more about who he was and what his work was going to be. This song is called Son of God. I think it really goes very well with the story about Jesus being baptized. The words are, Son of God, we come before you to love and adore you, Son of God. The second verse is, Word of God, we come to hear you, to always be near you, Word of God. It's a beautiful song. I hope that you'll be able to sing it with me. Jesus went into the desert to discover more about who he was and what his work was going to be. He was there for 40 days and 40 nights. There was little to eat or to drink. One day he heard a voice. It said, why don't you turn one of those stones over there into bread and have something to eat? Jesus said, no, to be a real human being, we need more than bread to eat. Suddenly, it was as if Jesus were on the top of the great temple in Jerusalem. The voice came back. If you are really the Son of God, why don't you jump and see if God sends the angels to catch you before you hit the stones below? Jesus said, no, we do not need to test God. Then it was as if Jesus could see all the kingdoms of the world. The voice came back. If you will follow me, I will make you king over all these kingdoms. Jesus said, no, I am to be a king, but not that kind of king. Then the voice went away. Jesus went back across the Jordan to do his work. But what was his work? His work was to come close to people, especially the people no one else wanted to come close to. Jesus traveled about the land with the twelve. He was teaching and showing people how to be real human beings. As he taught, people came to him to be healed. If they were hurt or sick or upset in some way, they sensed that Jesus could help them be well. See, he is touching the blind man's eyes. When Jesus came close to people, they changed. They could see things they never saw before. They could do things they never did before. But that wasn't all Jesus did. Jesus also told parables. Finally, he knew that he had to become a parable. So he and the 12 turned toward Jerusalem for the last time. It was the time of the Passover, and the city was full of people from many different lands. The people thought he was coming to be king, but they weren't paying attention. He wasn't riding on a great white horse. He wasn't being carried by soldiers. He was riding on a donkey, and the donkey wasn't even his. He borrowed it. Still, that Sunday when Jesus came into Jerusalem, people waved palm branches which were a sign of kings. 
On Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, Jesus went into the temple to teach. One day when he was there, he said, Do you see that old woman over there? She's going to put something in the money box. Listen, do you hear anything? No. She put the tiniest of all the coins in the box. That was all the money she had. Then the rich man came in. He brought friends with him to help him carry his money. His money clanged and clattered as they poured it into the box. Jesus asked, now I wonder which one really gave the most. That was how Jesus taught. On Thursday evening, Jesus and the twelve hurried through the dark streets to a house. They climbed up the stairs to an upper room and shared their last supper together. After supper, Jesus took some bread and gave thanks to God for it. Then he broke it and said something like, Whenever you break this bread and share it, I will be there. He also took a cup of wine, gave thanks to God for it, and said, Whenever you share a cup of wine, I will be there. What was he talking about? He was always saying things like that. Suddenly, Judas got up and left. The rest went to the Garden of Gethsemane. Jesus wanted to pray. When he was finished, he joined the rest. But Judas came out of the dark and greeted him. This was a signal for the temple guards to come out of the shadows and take Jesus away with them. This song is Lamb of God. It has the same melody that we sang before in Son of God and Word of God. The words are, Lamb of God, we come to bless you, to ever confess you, Lamb of God. Lamb of God is one of Jesus' titles. He has many of them. Emmanuel, God with us, um, Prince of Peace, King of Kings. Lamb of God is one of his titles too. Let's sing together. The night was a confusing one. The next day, Jesus was taken outside the city and crucified. That afternoon, Jesus died. The sky grew dark. Jesus was taken down from the cross and buried in a cave. A great stone was rolled into the opening of the cave to close it like a door. Saturday was so quiet, you could almost hear the earth breathing. On Sunday, it was the women who had the courage to go to the tomb just to be close to Jesus. They wanted to remember him even if it felt sad. When they came to the tomb, they found that the stone had been rolled back and that the tomb was empty. Jesus had died on the cross, but somehow he was still with them as he is with us, especially in the bread and wine. When we remember that Jesus died on the cross for us, we also remember that he is still with us. That is the mystery of Easter. It includes all the sadness and happiness that could ever be. That is why the mystery is so huge. Let's sing Jesus Loves Me one more time.
and that is the mystery of Easter. Know that Jesus is always with us. We hope that you and your family will have a blessed Easter.